Hey you guys, it's me Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. You have to excuse me. I have a little cold, so just bear with me. I just wanted to jump on here real quick um, to kind of tell you guys a little bit about pagan and idol worship, and we don't even realize that we probably are participating in it, and um, how a lot of these traditions that we celebrate here are man's traditions, and they are in tangled okay in paganism there's a lot of paganism idol worship and ideology that has been entangled into christianity okay and this all started because of constantine you know um back in the day with the roman empire and all that good jazz they entangle stuff and twisted things around the dates the calendar the times right to help confuse us and the enemy is very crafty and so i wanted to let you guys know just in case you didn't and you can go look this up that easter itself the tradition of easter um better yet pronounced ishtar i-s-h-t-a-r is rooted in paganism okay is dealing with the fertility and sex goddess Okay, and it's dealing with Nimrod and I want to say Semiramis and this um, the story of that in Tammuz, T-A-M-M-U-Z. And so the Easter bunny and the Easter eggs is all dealing with paganism and ideology. Okay, um, and you can look this up. I don't want to go all the way into it because I don't have enough time to really dissect that for you guys, but... This is how um, we have to start researching and doing things and asking God to show us, okay, the things that we are doing unbeknownst to us in worshiping that is ideology, all right? And um, Easter and um, Easter eggs and the bunny, that has nothing to do with Jesus Christ, but it has been entangled with pagan worship to make you feel like you are. <clears throat> worshiping and celebrating Jesus Christ. And I just thought that you guys should look that up and really look up the history of it so you know where it stems from so that you won't keep celebrating it in the way that you have been celebrating. I pray...